I'm a math independent study student. In this video, we are going to translate a given English statement into an equation and solve the problem. So let's start with this example. The sum of three consecutive even integers is 60. Find the integer. So let's review the set of integer or z is a set of all negative whole number and positive whole number. So you can see right here there are no decimal and fraction. So let me give you the, the example of um, positive consecutive even integer 2, 4, and 6. They are positive consecutive. It means that they ne next to each other and they are even. Okay, so 2, 4, 6 will be the, the example of 3 positive consecutive even integer. Now, uh, if we add them up, 2 plus 4 plus 6, only the sum is only 12, but we want the sum at 60. It means that these are not the three even integers that we're looking at. So what we're looking at is that we are looking at uh, what are three even integers, and they must be positive that add up equals 60. Okay? So I'm going to let n be a number in the set of natural number. Okay, so the set of natural numbers start from 1 and create by 1. So n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So now the three positive consecutive even integers are three positive consecutive Two n. So it means if n is one, then the the first even number or the first even integer will be two, and then the the one that's right after that um, two n will be two n plus two. Why we are two? So ima imagine if if n is one, then the first even integer is two. So the next will be just two plus two, so you get four, and the last one will be the third. Even integer will be 2n plus 4. Now we know that the sum of three positive consecutive even integers is 60. Therefore, 2n plus 2n plus 2 plus 2n plus 4 equals 60. Now you are going to Combine like term. So these three terms they are like term because they have the same variable which is n. So we're gonna add the coefficient in front of two plus two plus two be six and then bring the n. Six n and then plus now let's add this two integer six. So therefore copy the right hand side sixty. So now we are going to solve for n. Okay, first we want to we want to know what is that natural number, what is that n first. We, we try to find n first. So we are going to subtract 6 from both sides. So it will be 6n equal 54. So what we did right here that we subtract 6 from both sides. Then we divide both sides by 6. So n equal 54 divided by 6 would be 9. So divide by 6. Now, uh, after you get n is 9, then you can go ahead and substitute back into the formula. So th therefore,
53 positive consecutive integer or so we know that the uh, 2n right so 2n 2n plus 2 and 2n plus 4 but now we substitute n for 9 or 2 times 9 comma 2 times 9 plus 2 and 2 times 9 plus 4 so let's simplify So we're going to go over here and simplify. Then we will have 18, comma, 20, and So let's write down this summary for this video. So in this video we learn to translate an English statement. into an equation and solve the problem. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in class. Goodbye.